really motivating, sparked something in me. Um, I was delighted. She was fantastic. She was great. How many of you feel like you wake up energized in the morning? Do you feel like that? Not this morning. Okay. Not after AFCP last night, but you guys wake up like excited about the day. You know, you wake up and you start going, yeah, all right. Very, very informative. Oh yeah, and, and great. I pulled a lot of things we'll be going back and telling our sales organization about. I thought the analogy about the crab uh, and the bucket and people pulling you down, I thought that was actually. And I looked at him and I said, you know, Kevin, it's like crabs in a bucket. You put one crab in a bucket and you need to put a lid on it to make sure it doesn't crawl out. You put two crabs in a bucket, you don't need a lid. You know why? Because the second one starts crawling up, the other one's going to pull it right back down. She hit a nerve with me with the whole complacency thing because you do reach a point in your life where you say, eh, you know, do I really need to keep working this hard? But you do. And here's the problem. Giving ourselves the luxury of too much of a comfort level pushes us into a place of complacency. And I'm here to tell you, from my opinion, my perspective, that's the next biggest crisis in this country. And I thought the beginning where she was talking about rationalizing is just rational lies to yourself. Uh, she hit on a lot of great things. Next thing you know, you start rationalizing. Has anybody ever rationalized with themselves? You know what it is to rationalize? It's to tell yourself rational lies. That's what it is. You lie to yourself rationally. I mean, if you can sell yourself on the concept, you can sell anybody, right? I, I, I was writing a full page of notes. It was actually a very good speaker. Way to start the morning off great. How many of you are like me? You're sitting in traffic, you veer off because you'd rather go five miles out of your way because at least you're moving, right? At least you're moving. And you know, whoever's in the car with you is going, you know, this is not getting us there any faster. I don't care, I'm in motion, okay? I don't care. It can take me twice as long. I'm going somewhere, all right? Uh, Diane's great. She's always passionate, high energy, great positive attitude, and it's such a personal story. That's what makes her connect with all of us. She was great. But you know what? You grow to realize that challenges do happen for a reason, right? And they happen both personally and professionally. I can remember one time in my life I was going through so many personal challenges. I said, people say that going through challenges build character. I am not just building character, I am becoming one. Okay, it was ridiculous. Well, we probably had four other professional trainers come in and she's been the best of the ones we've had. And we have her come back every year because of that reason. My whole goal is that when I'm up here, you don't think what I said was great. Is that you think you're great because of what you heard. But you know what, it doesn't matter how long it takes because it's worth every single day that goes by for that goal to become a reality. Because to me, when you hope for something, hope is like grabbing onto nothing and just hanging on to it until it becomes something. She has been a stellar presenter. That will be the difference of you being ordinary or extraordinary. Go for it, you guys have been great. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you.